Afsha Awan has got only one child. He's now in a hospital bed fighting for his life. With whispered prayers and suppressed tears, she's trying to combat her worst fear. When I heard that my son was shot, I ran toward the school in a panic. But luckily, when he answered his phone, he tried to calm me down and told me, Mom, don't cry. I'm okay. Even though he was bleeding, I am proud of my son. He is such a brave boy. Samin Awan is in ninth grade and was in the school auditorium with dozens of other students when the attack began. Shot in the chest, he fell down and was bleeding. But his father tells me Samin was brave enough to crawl away and to call his family by phone. In the same world with Samin is Saad Hassan, a 12th grader, who was shot in the groins and had his left ear chopped. 8th grader Shahzad Khan was shot in the back. And Mohammed Atizaz, in 9th grade, has a gunshot wound in the arm. He still has fresh memories of the attackers. They look like just animals. They were animals. They have long hair, long beard, and wearing cap on the head, and have clash and coffees in hands, and wearing the national dress of Pakistan, that is shalwar kameez. Mohammed and the other students in this world are now in a stable condition, unlike a few others with more serious wounds. We are now inside the intensive care unit. Out of the 121 students wounded in the attack, 10 were brought here. One of them died on the first day, and three are still on life support. The families of these young victims aren't even allowed to see them. We're told it's meant to prevent shock among the parents. Outside the wards, families of the wounded students gathered to show their anger at the authorities. They blame the army and the government for having failed to maintain security in public places. And no amount of visits by high-ranking politicians could calm the parents. Unfortunately, I can't see any future of our children in Pakistan. We can't send them to the mosques, to the school, and even sending them to the parks is unthinkable. Samin's father, however, says his son is brave and will certainly go back to the same school. We can't afford to surrender, he tells me. Mohammed Val, Al Jazeera, Peshawar.